and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what is an ICO. To begin, let's start with what an ICO stands for. ICO stands for Initial Coin Offering. So what does that mean? Some people compare it to an IPO, which in my mind is a very poor comparison. A much better analogy is Kickstarter. I'll complete this analogy after I walk you through kind of the process of an ICO. Generally speaking, a team will have a concept for a new cryptocurrency and that might solve some issue that existing cryptocurrencies don't solve or might solve that issue in a better way, uh, maybe through some different uh, underlying te technology or something along those lines. So that team will begin working on putting that concept to paper, writing what is called a white paper. If you plan on investing in a new cryptocurrency through an IPO, reading this white paper will be vital to getting insight into the future possibilities of that cryptocurrency. So what I would do, what I highly recommend, is if you're thinking about um, putting money into an ICO, is to read the white paper completely on your own without outside uh, analysis. And then at that point in time, you can go to what other people have kind of gained and inferred from that white paper and see if your analysis kind of lines up with what they're thinking and you might have different insights that they don't have and then you can kind of uh, go from there by taking what other people are kind of getting from the white paper and gaining knowledge that you might have missed and also gaining gaining your own uh, train of thought that you got from reading the white paper completely on your own so a well-written white paper though isn't a guarantee to a successful future in cryptocurrency, but one littered with spelling errors is definitely a red flag, and I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so moving on, the new cryptocurrency team has a white paper. They now want to plan to launch an ICO. So they want to do their initial coin offering, essentially which is a crowdfund to fund their new cryptocurrency uh, from the concept phase to reality. Generally, many of the ICOs launching today are using Ethereum to launch their ICOs. In the ICO process, you will give the cryptocurrency team an existing cryptocurrency, such as the aforementioned Ethereum, Bitcoin, or any number of the alternative cryptocurrencies out there. I see a lot of them nowadays uh, using Ethereum or Bitcoin, uh, and then one other alternative coin, uh, generally speaking. Uh, in turn, what you'll get from uh, giving the team an existing cryptocurrency is a set number of tokens to the new cryptocurrency. And here's where that comparison to Kickstarter really become, starts to become clear. At this point, this new cryptocurrency is still likely in the concept phase with little to no, no actual technical development completed for the new network. That's what the ICO is designed to do. Raise money for the technical development of the new cryptocurrency. So with Kickstarter, you'll likely have a concept or basic prototype of the product the creator is trying to produce. Just like these Kickstarter campaigns, even if an ICO is fully funded, success is not guaranteed, and the purchase price of the crypto new cryptocurrency may be the highest it will ever reach. Uh, just wanted to really make that clear, just because the cryptocurrency is successfully funded doesn't mean that it's necessary to succeed and actually ever gain any traction. Uh, just like some crowdfunding campaigns on Kickstarter and Indiegogo are turned out to be complete scams, uh, there might be cryptocurrencies that fall into the same in the boat. At the same time, some that fail may have had the best intentions, but fail simply due to the lack of technical knowledge of the team or even just underestimating the tech required to turn their concept into reality. Now, with the kind of levels that these ICLs are being uh, invested in, they could definitely hire developers, and it might seem like they got millions of dollars, they should be able to hire the developers to form these cryptocurrencies. But there are so many cryptocurrencies coming at such a rapid pace now, not all of those can succeed. So even if they have a really solid idea, if they don't get the word out of their cryptocurrency, or something better comes along before it really gains any traction, then it will likely just die a uh, quiet death. So there's a lot to take into account into choosing a new cryptocurrency, especially now that there are some pretty solid ones with Bitcoin definitely being the, the most, I guess, solid out there um, with Ethereum definitely rising up there and kind of being a very popular, uh, more widely known cryptocurrency. So uh, we now have the basic process of what an ICO is. With that said, when investing in cryptocurrency in general, Never overextend yourself. 
That rings especially true with an ICO whose future whose futures are even more uncertain than, than the cryptocurrencies that we have more substantial knowledge of and can actually interact with their existing uh, and working networks. At the same time, I'm definitely not saying that you shouldn't invest in ICOs if you have some spare crypto coins laying around. Ethereum itself started off as an ICO uh, about three years ago, if I remember correctly. So that's not to say that, you know, ICOs can't be successful. And if you had invested in, you know, just a, even a small sum of Ethereum when it was an ICO, you would have quite a lot of money in the crypto bank at this point in time if you were going to cash out on that investment. So as with everything, don't extend yourself, overextend yourself, and definitely read all these white papers and uh, what other people are kind of getting from those, uh, what other people are analyzing from those cryptocurrencies and take that all uh, into account when you're choosing a new cryptocurrency. And, and like I already mentioned in this, uh, video there are so many cryptocurrencies popping up right now and so many that are already existing not all can succeed even if they have a very solid ideal uh, that does not mean that that crypt cryptocurrency is destined for uh, success so that's kind of what i wanted to share on what an ico is and what kind of my thoughts on the ico process uh, so thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a big like and also uh, If you are not an already existing subscriber uh, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon that right next to that So you can be notified as I release new videos in addition check out the links in the description below or and also the same uh, A lot of the same links are on the banners that rotated throughout the video So once again guys, thanks for watching and until next time Zach out